Justice delayed is justice denied. This Sunday will mark six years since Camelota villagers Akim Timbrell and Sean Lopez were innocently gunned down, and the police are yet to make an arrest in their murders. In 2016, the cousins were ambushed and killed by gunmen a stone throws away from Timbrell's home. His father, Irvin, claims that a mountain of evidence was collected in the case, but the police did absolutely nothing with it. We strongly believe that and more of it is coming out even from the police, police themselves. The last time the police did some, he called me and he gave me some information. He told me, which is something that I did not know, that a phone was found on the scene. That phone belonged to a policeman. The guy was in the opening, they found that out. They, they asked him and he said that he loaned the phone to another, another suspect in this thing. Now, our simple question is this. How then you allow those two persons to walk away? And the next thing too, that ballistic test was done in the gun that was from the suspect, one of the other suspects. That pando, because they were able to show that that gun, because they found a slug in my hand, in my son's hand. And, um, and when they test, did the ballistic test on that, 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 that slug, they found the gun. That person is allowed to walk away and go to the States. A cover-up is what Timbrell believes is taking place. And that's why he and a group of residents chose to protest in front of the Belmapan police station. The heartbroken father has been following the case for over a decade. And he says that throughout that time, he has noticed a systematic delay in the investigation. The DPP, six years ago, gave directive to the police to pick up six pieces of information. Now six years has elapsed. Six years. What is the system doing? One time when I went to them and asked for the information, they couldn't even tell me where the file was. So who is actually following up on this thing? What system is in place? Timbrell has made numerous efforts to demand justice for his son and nephew, but he strongly believes they have fallen on deaf ears. He says that the recent arrest of former Ambassador Alexis Rosado, who is accused of serious crimes allegedly committed over a decade ago, spurred him to take to the streets once again, demanding justice. When I saw the arrest made last week of the ambassador, that really triggered something in me. I said, if we reach this place where we can arrest an ambassador, why is it that then in our case, and the case of many other persons, how come nothing can be done about those things where so much evidence is there on the table? You know? So why is it that arrest can be made in the case of that ambassador? I don't, I don't, I don't even know um, Ambassador Rosad. I don't, I don't know him. But just the comparing those two things together it moved me to say, man, something has to be done. Eyewitnesses of the murder had reported seeing an F-150 pickup truck in the area. But Timbrell says when he was given the police report through the efforts of former Prime Minister Dean Barrow, not only did the police recover the wrong model vehicle, but the date of the report was off by a year. This, he says, is a clear sign of recklessness and a perversion of justice. It was taken to the house by the area of Kaya South. That spurred the, the People's Prime Minister to get a report from the police and give it to me. You know, when I read that report, that report has a date that is one year wrong, signed by the Deputy Commissioner of Police and by the officer in charge of upon the den. I mean, what are we doing? It's supposed to be in that report, it is shown that they were supposed to get an F-150. The police went and got a Rob, uh, 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 um, forerunner. This is, this, this, the is CI, yes, to the this is CIB. My uncle was in charge of CIB in this country for many years, right. and I tell and I told the officer in charge that I said, You guys are incompetent, it seems, because to get to make an, an error like that, they're not even close. To, um, I mean, physically looking at those vehicles, they're not even close. So, what are, you, what, are, what are we saying? I mean, these things are not even if you're trying to cover up something. You're doing a bad job. While Timbrell has been here before, he is hoping that this time around, the higher ups will feel his pain and listen to his countless and continuous cries for justice. Reporting for Love News, I am Vigie Alvarez.